Welcome. Do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Trouble in paradise as the Oluwo of Iwo runs as the people of Iwo burns down his place. Well, for most of you that do not know who the Oluwo of Iwo is, he's one of the Yoruba kings in Yoruba land. And the Oluwo of Iwo has gone against the Yoruba traditional system and rule. Because the people are tired. The people of Iwo are tired. When he first um, brought in a, a, a woman from the north, because he also has many wives. When he brought in a woman of the north, the people of Iwo embraced him. They accepted it, even though they, even though they know it was not right. Because normally, you're meant to marry from your tribe. You're not meant to move out of the tribe but even though you want to move out you should not be with the north because you all know what is happening well so this time they are tired and they cannot take it anymore so they resorted in doing something else in burning the lower of Iwo house well, there's been a video that has been going viral on social media and a lot of people have dragged the Oluwa of Iwo because of some of the things he said. In the video, the Oluwa of Iwo, Iwo said that there is no more Ori again and that there shouldn't be Oro again. And he said that they should allow women to be coming out during Oro. He said that any time they want to do oral, let the women come out and that nothing will happen to them. We all know that in Yoruba land, oral is not a child's play. It is very serious and it is not meant to be joked with. Well, the oral festival is a festival celebrated by the Southwest Nigeria by the Yorubas. It is an event celebrated by towns and settlements of Yoruba origin. It's like an annual tradition of patriarchy nature, only celebrated by male descendants who are paternal native to the specific locations where the particular event is taking place. Well, females and non-indigenous are meant to stay indoors as the oral history added that oral must not be seen by women and non-indigenous. And this is called after the death of the monarch, where the Bashiru comes in and it's done after the death of the monarch. And it's it, everyone is meant to stay indoors during this period because it lasts for several days. And women are not meant to use their eyes to see horror. If not, calamity and evil will befall them. Well, the Oluwa of Iwo in that video said that there should no more be Oro again and that um, they should stop practicing what is ancient and archaic, that all those things are old practices whereby they practice Oro and they tell women not to, to come out. And he said that they are now civilized and in the 21st century so that all those things should not be practiced again and that women can can join in oral that is behind them and that nothing is going to happen to them he also stated that as the men are going out for the oral the women should also um follow them and um, also follow them and he also stated that it should not even be done at night again it should be done in the afternoon in broad daylight and this has angered the people of Iwo because you you did something wrong at first you you bought in a northern wife and now you are trying to change the Yoruba uh, traditional system that has been there for years this is something that they have been doing that they do after the death of the monarch this is a tradition that the Yoruba people have held in high esteem that the Yoruba people have held in, presti that in prestige they've held it in so much esteem and this is a normal practice in the Yoruba traditional system so now you're changing it and saying that it should not be done again and um the people sh the women can come out something that is not meant for women it's only meant for for the male descendants only male meant for male counterparts parts rather so you bringing it and saying that um women should um come uh, uh, and come and uh, engage in 
oral is something that Iwo may really make anybody angry, especially the people of Iwo. And since they could not speak or talk against the king, they decided to do something more sinister, like burning the, the his palace down because they were angry with all the things he was saying and him trying to change the Yoruba traditional system to something that the, that is not the normal practice, something that is not the norm. And this made a lot of people angry. This made the people of Uro angry. And they decided to, to, to fire back at him by burning down his place. And now he has, is on the run now because he doesn't want them to harm him because that is one thing people don't know when you keep on on um, pushing people pushing and pushing and pushing they will keep quiet because you are in power and when you're in power you are strong you're stronger than the people so these people will keep will keep on um being quiet and it will reach to a certain extent that they cannot take it anymore and that and they will decide to push back and when they push back they push back in full force and that is what they did they decided to burn down his um, palace and leaving him on the run now he's running for his life he's running for his dear life after everything he has done and we all know the way oro is held in high um, prestige among the yoba tradition and this is something that is done after the death of the monarch and you now saying that oh it should not be done this way it should be done that way it should be done this way we all know that it is always done in the night and everyone must be indoors and you coming out to say that it should be done in broad daylight women should also join should also engage in engage in the festival should also engage in the ritual is something that is wrong because it is not written in the history books of Yoruba's so at the end of the day, you are you are you are trying to change, you are trying to 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 modify what is already written in the history books of the Yoruba people, and now you are saying that uh um they should not they should come out that you are you are, you are supporting them you are their back saying things like that, you don't use tradition to play, you don't use tradition to play play this is. These are things that people preserve. They preserve their cultural heritage. They preserve their, their traditions. And this is a normal practice. So why, did, why do you want to modify and change it? And this is what angered the people of Iwo. And they said that enough is enough. We can't keep on allowing you to do anything you want, anytime you want to do it. And what, what, what you just said on the video is a big taboo to the Yoruba traditional system. It's a really big taboo. Your mother to find what the, the forefathers, what the ancestors already wrote down in the, in the history books and you're trying to change it now, saying that that the woman should be coming out and it should be done in broad daylight, it should be done anytime. This is something that is done in the night and everyone, especially women, are meant to be indoors and non-indigenous. So why are you now changing this and, and saying things like this? Well, I, I don't know what to what we are going to expect and I don't know if they're eventually going to catch up with the Oluo of Iwo because he has done a lot of things that have really angered the people of Iwo and before they can forgive him it's, it will actually take so long. Well, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe and turn on your notifications to get more news updates from us. Thank you.